Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Bailey of Bristol and I'm here for the launch of their new 2024 Bailey Pegasus Grande GT75. Bailey of Bristol is 75 years old and to celebrate they are launching their new GT75 range. So we're here to check out and get a first look at the models and have a look at the new exteriors and interiors. So if you're wanting to order a new Bailey Pegasus Grande, this is what you're going to be getting for 2024. Pegasus Grande, these are mid-range in the Bailey range, eight foot wide caravans. They've got air blown central heating, solar panel. They come with alloy wheels. And to be fair, these are good mid-range, uh, mid large caravans. Let's start, first of all, at looking at the new exterior. So the new Pegasus Grande, we've still got these silver sides, which I absolutely love, as you know. And we've got the new decals, which are a bluey grey colour, this GT75 badge. And it's important to know this brand new design feature here. This is the new door that they're going to get across the range. I just want to show you that before we go around, because the first fan I'm going to show you, the Bologna, doesn't currently have that door on this model that's here. If you're wondering about the front of the models, in fact, I'll just stop a second. So you can see the new Pegasus front. We've still got the three Bailey windows, the white front. We've got no locker. Bailey's still not doing that. The back ends are basically the same, but the changes are to these decals. And then we'll go in and we'll see what we're getting. So let's go into the Bologna. Now, as I say, this isn't the new door that's fitted, but that will be fitted on the new one. So let's go and have a look. So we'll step inside now. The Bologna is a twin axle, four berth caravan. This is a big boy. It's quite a heavy caravan. It's a long caravan and it's eight foot wide. If you want all the dimension specifications, I'm going to put a link to the Bailey website in the description below. So you can find out all the information, including price um, that you might want to know. Now this one, as you can see, we've got this L-shaped lounge. I do quite like this. It is nice. It makes it nice and open with it being eight feet wide. If you're somebody that likes a lot of floor space because you've got children or you've got dogs or you like to sit on the floor, you're going to get it. We've got plenty of little LEDs with USBs, the huge lockers. These are across the range in the bands. Blinds, we get the Remis fly screens and we get the concertina pleated blinds. And I know people like these. And we've got nice curtains with like a purple color. The colour scheme for 2024, again, it's a purple colour. Hopefully the camera will do this justice, but very nice, well bolstered, lovely cushions. These are nice. Again, a little bit floral and purpley, but they work. And we're also getting here, if you can see, this board here, it's like, um, I don't know, a, a, it's some sort of fabric and it's purple. It's like a brushed feeling. That's nice, just softens it up a bit. And we also get it here on this side as well. This on the Blonnier is where you're going to put your television. You can see we've got a stand here. As we move down into the caravan, all the um, Pegasus Grandes have got this control panel here. On, off, water, lights, outside lights, battery. So it's all there as you come in. This little space, if you're wondering what this is for, this is actually, there's a Sonos speaker goes there. So that's what that's for, little bit of storage. And then we get the kitchen on the off side. Kitchen, good amount of worktop space, nice size sink. If we lift this up, we've got our Thetford oven, good size oven and grill. Let's have a quick little nosy under here on the Bologna. So we've got some shelves, going to have a drawer with a cutlery tray and that is soft close. Our Truma control panel, because as I say, it's air blown, heating and hot water. Russell Hobbs microwave, as far as I know, that's 700 watt and it hasn't got a plate in it that flies about when you tow. It's the new version without the uh, flying around ceramic plate in there. On the near side, we've got the Thetford Tower fridge freezer. I think these are about 142 litres, but uh, yeah, 142 litres. I know my stuff when it comes to fridges, you can get a lot of food in there. And you can get a lot of ice cream in there. So yeah, tower fridge freezer there. Very nice. I'll venture back into the bedroom. Island bed. It's on the near side wall of the caravan. We've got again, nice fabric headboard. It is retracted, lots of space. 
benefit of eight foot wide you're getting lots of space some people feel a bit nervous about eight feet wide do not be honestly don't be um, then once you get back here this um, unhinges up here and this is a privacy door here that's going to pull across to separate that uh, this part from the bedroom but in the meantime I do like when it's open how open this makes this feel we've got the Thetford toilet a little bit of uh, shelving the mirror we've got sink with swivel tap a little bit of storage just under there just show you that and then a gigantic shower cubicle I talk about shower cubicle sizes a lot because more of us I think are using onboard facilities I know I do massive and um, a frosted screen as well yeah really nice um, I do I do like this open plan feel that's the Bologna let's dive out and head on to our next one so this is as I say a four berth twin axle Bologna we're doing the we're starting with the big ones and we'll get smaller as we go so let's venture down this way so next is the Messina now again we've, we've got twin axle I'll just point out as I go out here we've got gas barbecue point we've got locker storage we've got our electric hook up there right let's go in as I say this is the new door I like this I like the black feature as well or very dark grey that just adds something a little bit more special to it right come on let's go in so in the Messina what we've got here is we've got the same colours fabrics but um, well I'm telling a lie actually we've got some different coloured cushions on this one that's gold and blue so that's those ones there this we've got um, the fabric again this is a darker blue we can see the curtains on this one are a darker blue so whether these are options that you can choose different colors I don't have that information available at the moment but that's certainly worth when you go on the website having a look um, what you can and can't have we will spin around and I'll go and show you the kitchen so the kitchen is on the off side exactly the same as the Bologna and we have the Thetford tower fridge freezer we've also got where the Sonos speaker will be and this is where your TV is going to go in this model on this um, wall here now coming back we've got wardrobe space here so I'll just close that up and then as we move back I'll show you let me show you the bedroom first of all so Messina we have the rear island bed the bed obviously headboard on the back of the caravan because it's eight foot wide as well lots of space on either side of the um, the bed good size wardrobes as we can see here we've got locker space as well the little lights underneath there is USB chargers in those too nice little bit here just to put our uh, gadgets on and cups little cubby storage again blinds and curtains and we have we've got a tv point here as well so in the Messina you can put television on there right as we go past I'll just show you these so first of all I'll just open this there we go we've got an offside washroom so you can see we've got a nice little sink there swivel tap mirror loads of space underneath Thetford toilet there we go if you can see that it's around the corner Thetford toilet and then if I just close that door up and then on here on the near side we've got the great big shower cubicle frosted glass again so yeah good size okay that is Messina so again four berth twin axle large caravan so on we go come on now the next one is a single axle the Portofino so let's have a look so as we can see single axle the new door as well I'm sorry if it's a little bit noisy we are literally in the mix of it all here right let's go in so this model still eight foot wide shorter obviously because it is single axle and a little bit lighter as well so it might be better for your tow car we've got the lounge area so this converts into a bed like the other models do singles or a great big double queen bed we've got now this has gone back to the purple fabric here again so we've got the purple I prefer this purple if I'm honest to the color I just saw in the Messina um, and I do prefer this pattern as well on the curtains and I'm not a fan of curtains as you know but I do like that we've got USBs here so this is the lounge area this is nice we've got the kitchen area again so we just have a spin round so we've got the same kitchen on the off side 
same controls, the microwave. Now on this one, we've got, we're going to a Dometic, I believe this is. Yeah, this is a Dometic under counter fridge freezer. Um, I won't, don't want to mess too much with it. There we go. So as you can see, it's the fridge compartment and there's a freezer compartment as well. So that's there. Television points, so your TV is going to go on here. Space for the Sonos speaker as well. Now I'll move back. This is an island bed. So basically, it's pretty much the same layout as we've just seen, but it's on a single axle. So we've got the island bed, uh, this uh, head, nice headboard. Again, the storage space, the wardrobes, um, the worktop space there, television point over there as well. And then we've got the same, um, sorry, don't spin around. We've got the same shower. I'll just show you the washroom again. So this is a, just a slightly bit different to the last one we saw because the caravan's shorter, they've changed it around a little bit. So we can see we've got a little cupboard there, nice sink, Thetford loo, and then a mirror and a cupboard. And then if I close that, we've got this shower, which obviously I'm stood in. On this one, because it's over the axle, we have got a bit of intrusion um, just here from the um, wheel arch. So you have lose, lost a little bit of floor space, but the rest of it is fine. I mean, to be fair, I don't, I don't mind that because you can actually put your shower gels and stuff on it. So, but it's, everyone has a different take on it. Okay, so there we go. That one, let's carry on. That one is a four berth single axle Portofino. So if you're interested in that one, obviously have a look on the website. Last but not least, it's the Brindisi or Brindisi. So let's have a look at the Brindisi. This is single axle. And what we're going to find in here, if we venture in, is the L-shaped lounge. So L-shaped lounge. And on this one, we've gone back to these blue furnishings with the blue curtains and the blue board on the wall. Uh, what have we got in here for us to have a look at? So basically, this is very much like the Bologna. Um, we've got this uh, worktop space. We've got a stand for the television. Because you're not, because you haven't got, um, well, basically, because this is here where the television is, you do lose the window on this side. So some people like that and some people don't. So it's just one to be mindful of when you sat there, you have lost your window space. But it's one of those. Single axle again. So we've got the under counter Dometic. We've got some worktop space where our Sonos will go. Let's have a quick look in here. So there we've got our solar charger. That's where that comes in for the 100 watt solar panel on the roof. The kitchen, kitchen's the same as all the other ones. We'll just do a spin round. So kitchen on the off side, same with the microwave, exactly the same. And this layout, we have the island bed on the near side. So again, it is retracted. And we've got some little wardrobes. They're, they're well, they're enough. Let's put it like that. We've got some good sized cupboards, no shelving in there as well. So you can just pile things up as you want them. And then last but not least, we've got this rear um, bathroom. And because it is eight feet wide, again, you've got a good size bathroom. We've got the privacy screen that slides across. Let's venture back into here. So in here, we've got a little bit of covered space. We've got our Thetford toilet and toilet roll holder, a bit of a plain wall here. There's nothing sort of being made of a feature of that. Uh, mirror, sink and tap, cupboard, and I'll step into the shower cubicle. This is, again, it's a, it's, it's a perfectly usable space. It does feel a little bit closed in, does this one, more so than any of the others, but that's just how I personally felt it. But I always think, you know, tell it how it is. You might find the same, you might not. So there we go, that, that as we venture out, has been a very quick look at the Pegasus Grande GT 75 models for 2024. We've had a look at the Bologna, then the Messina, the Portofino and the Brindisi. So those are the four that we've had a look at. I will put a link in the description below to all of them and you can have a look at the new 2024s. The website should be updated now. I do apologize. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a look around. I must say, again, these, again, like what I said when I looked at the Phoenix range, they do seem to have taken a bit of a step up, step up if, if I'm honest. So, yeah, I've enjoyed having a look at them. There you go. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.